Hello and welcome to the debate on the number of syllogisms which are valid because as you may have seen that in our book or in the modern understanding there are 15 syllogisms which are valid and you can see the list over here. Uh, however, as we know that uh, in case of Aristotle he only found 14 syllogisms valid which were uh, valid only in three figures because he could not discover the fourth figure. But in the medieval era uh, the logicians found actually 24 syllogisms valid. Now if we are given this list of 15 syllogisms which are valid uh, from the modern perspective then how to derive the rest of the syllogisms which used to be valid but now we do not find them valid or we do not find the occurrence of those things in the book. Some books also say that there are 19 syllogisms valid. Uh, does not matter what, if we make the list of uh, 24 syllogisms valid then we can understand uh, these things very properly. Uh, now what is the hint of uh, solving this because as you can see that in the first figure there are four syllogisms valid. In the second figure again four, in the third figure again four and in the fourth figure there are three syllogisms valid. You can also see that uh, like EIO is valid in all the figures. Then you can see that EAE is valid in two figures, IAI is valid in two figures, AEE is uh, valid in two figures and so on. So we know all these things. Now what is the difference between uh, traditional logicians or the medieval logicians and the modern logicians? The basic problem or the basic difference between uh, these two type of uh, say logicians is the problem of existential import because uh, if you see from the Aristotelian perspective or if you see from the medieval perspective they thought that uh, affirmative propositions have existential import. However, when we talk about in the modern syllogistic understanding it is always that the particular propositions are existential propositions wherever, uh, whereas this uh, universal propositions are not irrespective of the fact that there is an universal affirmative. So given those understandings or given those things which have changed and uh, uh, there are <clears throat> valid reasons to accept it, the number of syllogisms have been reduced. The number, have been, uh, the number of syllogisms have been further reduced by a lot of other uh, logicians uh, in the 20th as well as the 21st century. But uh, let us go uh, back to the understanding of uh, medieval logicians and see how the other syllogisms are formed. Now in order to understand that how other syllogisms are going to be valid, let us first understand what is called as strengthened moods and vis-a-vis -vis weakened moods. Strengthened moods if you if you um, you can again go to uh, internet and go to a uh, lot of books and you will find what are strengthened moods uh, moods and uh, weakened moods i will not go to the um, i will not go to the definitions and i will not go to because this is an extra part of your course uh, i will not go to the definition i will very simply uh, try to uh, make you understand that what is basically a strengthened mood or a weakened mood with the help of an example like suppose <clears throat> if EIO is valid right and you can see that I is a um, particular affirmative proposition so you will also understand that EAO will also be valid the point which you should understand is that there will be the problem of existential fallacy but as I told you when we were uh, understanding uh, the rules to uh, test the validity of syllogism that existential fallacy was a later addition right it is not the part of medieval logic so like EIO is valid for them EAO will be also valid similarly if suppose AAA is valid somewhere right so this A is the conclusion. So AAI will also be valid because the thing is because this A is a strengthened conclusion and this is a weakened conclusion. Here this I is a weak uh, premise and here we have further strengthened it. Right. So 
strengthened moods and weakened moods are basically understood uh, against each other only. Now, if you have not understood this concept or if you want to be more clear with this understanding, let me make the list of all these syllogisms and you will get the idea that how these syllogisms are formed. Like if you see that in the first figure, we have A, 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 E, A, E, A, I, I and E, I, O. Now, this is a strategy of finding uh, the syllogisms. Now, if you have a universal conclusion, you can see universal conclusions, right? So, you can make it weakened. Like suppose if A, A, A is valid, so A, A, I will also be valid, right? Even if there will be problem of existential fallacy. But as I told you that in the medieval logic, it was not a case or it was not a problem. Now, if E, A, E is valid, so if I put O over here, that means if I put E, A, O, then I have found another syllogism which is going to be valid. In rest, all the cases, you will not find this kind of understanding. Now, if you see the second figure, A, A, E is valid. So I will say A, E, O will be also valid. Now, if you say E, A, E is valid, so <clears throat> E, A, O will also be valid, right? Because I am sufficiently weakening it. I am weakening this one. I am weakening this one. So, you can see that I have found these things. Now, here in the third figure, you do not find that the conclusion is a universal premise. So, fine or universal proposition. So, fine. Now, then there is another way. The other way is that if there is a particular proposition in the premise, so you can further strengthen it. Like suppose O, A, O is valid. So E, A, O will also be valid, right? And uh, if you have I, A, I, so A, A, I will also be valid. So this is another way of finding it. Now in case of the fourth figure, now this is an interesting one. And as you can see that in the first figure, you have found two syllogisms which are valid more. Here also you find two. Here also you find two. Now, let us talk about this. Here also you will find because now you know that there were 24 syllogisms which were valid in the uh, medieval understanding and 15 syllogisms are valid in the modern understanding. So we have to find nine, right? So, we have found six, now we have to find three more and this will be over here. And another thing which is interesting and which you will find in the history is that each and every figure produce actually uh, and exactly six syllogisms valid. So, that is a very interesting thing. Now, if A, E, E is valid, so you can see A, E, O will also be valid because I am weakening this one, right? Over here, I am strengthening this one. Over here, I have strengthened this one. So if you see this one goes here and this one goes here, right? Here, this one goes here and this one has gone here. Here, this one has gone here and this one has gone here. So we know how we have found out all these things. Now, if you see AEE -E is valid, so AEO is valid. Now, if you see IAI is valid, so AAI will also be valid. And if you see EIO is valid, so EAO will also be valid. So here we find this, here we find this, and here we find this, right? So given this analysis, I do not know how much you have followed, but this is something which I wanted to bring to your attention, that you can actually find 24 syllogisms valid. And this is a very interesting study. And let me tell you, that this was a coffee question which was given to uh, the class of mechanical and uh, civil if i am uh, right uh, when we were teaching logic in the last semester or last to last semester that was last year and uh, shashwat tiwari a student of mechanical engineering actually went on to solve this and because of this i have to give him a very very big treat but thankfully uh, covid happened and i didn't have to give the treat right yet but definitely I'm looking forward to whenever he will come back and join the university. So we will go for a treat. And this was the question which he could pulled up 
and this is the question which never nobody could pull it up uh, till last year and the, uh, last year only this question was uh, solved by this guy Shashwat Tiwari in less than 10 minutes right so it was an achievement for me and therefore he needs to be treated by me again so I hope that once he will be joining I will be treating him but this is a very nice way of looking into uh, that how you can find the missing syllogisms which uh, give uh, or uh, the 24 syllogisms which were valid according to the medieval logicians but right now we have only 15 syllogisms valid. So thank you for watching.